What's up, people? Welcome to this episode of the By the Hood podcast, a webcast, because I don't know how you're consuming this content. I'm your host, as always. My name is Jimmy. And as we start off every show, that's with gratitude. Just want to say thank you to anyone and everyone who supports everything we got going on here at By the Hood. Special shout out to all the students from By the Hood University, as well as the youth from the By the Hood Ownership Camp. As always, I got my partner in Crown Core. Me, Core, what's up, good brother? It's really good, man. Every day above ground is a good day, so let's go get it. Absolutely, man. You know, our platform is designed to highlight brothers and sisters doing positive work in the community. We got our brother here with us, man. He's been on here multiple times before, man. But when we're having a conversation about the current market, and I was like, let's let's drop this episode um, this week about what we're seeing in the market. Um, My brother is a master in the crypto space, but he's also foran in the Forex and other just all kinds of markets right now trading, but um, without further ado, man, we got our brother Russell Hughes on. Russ, what's up with you, good brother? It was good. It was good. Yes, hey, listen, I know. I know. I know. A lot of folks going to see this and be like, "Damn, Russ still out here?" Because you know, um, Zuck Zuck done kicked you off the platform, man. And, and folks be asking me where Russ at, man. I say, look, man, he got he got a life sentence, man. So, let Russ cook. Yeah, yeah. Let, <laughs> let Russ cook. So this might be the first time folks are seeing you, but you still you still out here doing your thing, right, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm still out here. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, man. So, um, listen, man. Let's talk about the various markets. I was just talking about how, um, you know, you're known as a crypto guy, like, and you've been a crypto guy. You know, it's crazy. Um, you know, pretty soon it's gonna be a decade, bro. Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, but anyway, time is flying. But um, you've been in crypto for a while. But you know, I talked to you. We, we we text back and forth, and you know, you, you were telling me how. You figured out how all of these markets are connected. So you're making money in various ways, trading other markets. So tell us about the other markets that you started to get into and trade. Like like Forex. Mm-hmm. Like, one thing I noticed if the dollar's up, the S and P and um the markets, the stock market is gonna be down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if I'm long the dollar, I can also be short spy or QQQ, you know. Okay. And, so and coin. At the same yeah. time. Well, that's interesting, right? Because in the past, everybody talked about how Bitcoin is not supposed to be correlated to the market. So what do you think about the fact that thus far that hasn't really happened? Do you think it will ever happen? I I, I think I, I think it'll happen. It, it's going to take some time. But okay. uh, right now it's being priced as a commodity, like gold mm-hmm. and silver. Yeah, yeah. So... Let me ask you this question: With you jumping into those other markets, do you prefer those markets now, or what's your what's your preferred market? Let's ask that. Um, you know what? I'm liking the uh, Hugo's Way MT4 platform. Okay, so you're liking Forex better than everything else right now? Yeah, pretty much. You know, I, I still trade like stocks on there and everything, crypto mm-hmm. or whatever. But so you do, you do everything from that one platform? Yeah. And by the way, let me stop. Let me stop because this is a uh, you know not our normal interview. We tell you a story because your story has been told on our platform. Uh-huh. But I want to say this: anything we say here is for educational and informational purposes <laughs> only. We are not your financial advisors. All trading involves risk, so please do your proper due diligence. Um, because we're going to talk about some things that Russ is doing in terms of platforms, and I don't want anybody to jump out the window and start downloading stuff. No, I don't want no smoke. Mm-mm. But um. But you're saying that you like that platform because you can actually jump into everything right from that platform. Yeah. Okay. But in terms of the specific markets, do you have a favorite? Like, would you prefer crypto over Forex or Forex over the stock? I um, um, I, I like Forex because the trends are more long term. Okay. Explain that to us. What you mean by um, that? Like, remember I told you about the euro short in, um, mm-hmm. in January? Yeah, I, I yeah. do remember you told me. Yeah, you did say that. Yep. Yeah, and it's still falling. Got you, got you. So you can let them play out on a longer period of time is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got the, you. As as long as the news doesn't change, you know, the trend won't either. So let's get into this though. This current market, right? So a lot of people will speculate on where we are, where we're going. Um, what do you think? As someone who looks at every market, you do a lot of research. Everybody Russ is known for his research. Um, what do you think is going on right now in the market and where are we going? Um, right now, we're, we're having fears of more rate hikes right now, and more rate hikes are coming. So, you, you know, right right, right now, 
I, I'm just seeing this. This is going to fall. Okay. Um, and when you see that, how far out do you see it? Like, so I guess my question is, is this something that we're going to be dealing with for the next year? Um, and, and by the way, I'm just getting your opinion. I just want to know your opinion on what you see. Yeah, most times in, in history, it's been like like a year, you know. So, you, you know, you know, buckle in, strap up. So what are you doing to, I guess, protect protect what you have and also um, prepare yourself for what's coming? Running some shorts and puts. Okay. You know, you know me and my homie, Renata, we in uh, uh, November 19th, $75 VIX calls. $75? Yep. Jeez, what's VIX at right now? $30, taking these out the money joints that'd be crazy. <laughs> I think, I, think Russ, Russ, I think I was talking to Russ um some months ago and we were talking about spy. And Russ said, Yo, get a 210 put. I said, 210? Something like that. It was like 210, 215. <laughs> the spy was at like 450. I said, Damn, yeah, the spy was in the fours. I'm like, 210. I'm like, what you, what you, what you think Thanos coming through or something? Like, what's going uh, on? Listen, bro? if you would have did that though, you'd be sitting on you'd be sitting pretty right now. I mean, no, we start running towards it. So, I mean, you know, that's the thing. It doesn't have to actually hit the number. But seventy five yeah, Vic. Seventy five Vic. So, so let me ask you this question: Where you see, where do you see Spy at now? For those who don't know, um, to to kind of make a long story short, Spy is the S and P five hundred. Mm -hmm. Um. But where do you see Spy at now? What's your uh, prediction for Spy? I'm I'm I'm, I'm thinking we're going to have a new. I'm I'm thinking we're going to have a new low on on Thursday because of CPI data. Hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So this 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 is probably going to drop on the 12th of October, and I think the the CPI, the CPI data comes on the 13th. <laughs> okay. No, it's right. on Thursday. It's on Thursday. Yeah, the 13th. Yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. So that's the thirteenth. So you know, um, and by the way, again, this is not investment advice. We're just talking. So let's see how this plays out. Um, <laughs> but it's interesting that you say that, man, because there is a lot of fear in the market. But that's, the, in my opinion, the time when you can actually make money. You can create wealth. Right now, the time to create wealth. Mm -hmm. Bag up, in the bull, right? You know what I mean? So, Core, Core, let me ask you a question, bro. So, what, what's, yep. what are you doing? And what are you seeing right now, bro? Uh, me and Russ had this discussion. I was down in Houston in, in January. <laughs> And I showed Russ a chart, and he was like, holy schmoly. <laughs> I showed him a, a monthly chart for a couple different uh, Jones, but definitely the QQQ and the SPY monthly chart. And uh, that's where we start putting together some some plays to, to, go, to go get the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we start putting them plays together. So I don't see nothing different than he see right now. I told people when it was coming, man. Like, it's... You know, it's out here looking like, um, you know, like like some medieval. <laughs> it's looking like like damn snow frost walkers where they walk around these joint and dragons where they start breathing fire. Dog. Like it's about to get, it's about to get dumb out this joint. So, <laughs> yo, because until my man, listen, and I'm gonna say this again and again and again, my man Jerome keep telling y'all how dire streets is and y'all not listening to my man. White boy Jerome keep telling y'all like it's about to get dark out here and it's about to get dark very, very soon. He said it's dark and hell is hot, right? Yeah, yeah man. Jerome out here talking like DMX. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then on top of that, they still just beginning to uncouple those bonds that they bought from the market. And when they start doing that, that's even crazier because <laughs> now they, the money that they put into the market is coming out the market. And now it costs more money to buy into the market. Mm -hmm. And so normally the bond market is a place where you could go to get some protection when the stock market is doing, you know, out here doing the, the what they do. But the bond market ain't looking at, if he start pulling that money back out that bond market while we doing this, I have no idea how crazy it's going to get, man. Like, I don't, I don't actually, here's the question, though, right? So, so I was around for 08, right? And 08 was absolutely bonkers. It's hard for me to see that again. No, nah, man, it's dark and hell is hot. Man. Listen, the, the terminal rate is going to be the same. Think so? It is. Go, you know, check out 2008, mm -hmm. uh, interest rates on the dollar, and, and check their terminal rate. Hmm. 
Yeah, and listen, and that's with protections. Imagine if they hadn't put we didn't have 2008 and they ain't put those protections in, bro. Mm. Yeah, but I but I'm saying like a lot of things came as a result of 2008. It's just hard for me to see because of all the I'm gonna tell you man. but I mean again, yeah. time was we, also we didn't have a global pandemic that shut the world down for a month either. Mm. So <laughs> So you could, you know, we wasn't thinking about that kind of, you know what I mean, change in the market. Yeah. We saw a lot of things coming, but we didn't so, see no global pandemic that shut down. Not I mean, just, so that makes an excuse because one thing I look at is if we get to that point again, then they're like our leaders. And I hate saying this, but I mean, this is just a, a, an actual fact. It's not my it's not my opinion, but our leaders have failed us. Right. If you don't learn from your mistakes. Now, again, these aren't the same mistakes. Because we don't have that fraudulent real estate market like we had then. Um, but you're right. It's the cavalcade of a lot of things, including the pandemic. Um, the dollar strength is crazy right now, y'all. Um, <laughs> the dollar flexing out here, looking like Lou for Yeah, I mean, a, as we as we um, are recording this, I'm currently sitting on a, um, a UUP call, right? Um, as am I. Yeah, Corey, Corey and uh, Spoon put us down with UUP as a way to, uh, you know... Um, Bet on the dollar being strong, right? And and I'm 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 green right now on that play. Um, but man, I mean it is it's very scary, but again, this presents opportunity. So if anybody out there is listening, even if you're not a trader, even if you're a long-term investor, I mean, get your cash right. Cash is a position, get your cash right because one of the things that we do understand long term is the overall market isn't going anywhere. And when I say market, I mean all of them, they're not going anywhere, right? Um, but Russ, let me get your opinion on this though, right? So you are a crypto guy, so I gotta ask you some crypto questions while we got you here. Uh -oh. um, I know that you were in the Discord, right? Um, talking about XRP, not as a long term hold, but as a kind of a trade to see where it's going to go, based upon the lawsuit, right? Yeah. Um, so what's going on with that? Give us your uh, update on what's going on with XRP. Um, they just got some documents, you know, from the SEC that that can now be let in, you know, the court. So uh, you know. I do believe that XRP is a security. I don't believe it's a currency. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's just a bridge from you know fiat to crypto. Yeah, but do you think that? All right, so I mean, and that's okay. That's your opinion. Yeah. Do you think they'll win the case though? I think they will. And if they win the case, you think it's going to shoot off? Yeah, oh, I it's going. Well, that joint going right pop pop first because you're going to have to buy the rumor, selling news, folks, mm -hmm. and it's just going to pump. So what's it currently trading at as we record this? Um, let me check. Mm. All right. So, so I do want to say this too while Russ is checking that. Um, we have our private our private membership group, which is the MDC group, and you can get information about that group at mdcstrategy.com. Again, that's um mdcstrategy.com. If you're watching the video, it's scrolling at the bottom of the screen. So that is our private membership group where we have we have over. 200 and some odd classes back there. Actually, we're approaching 300, probably past 300 at this point. Um, classes that we have, we have live classes, we have a Discord. And Russ is one of the professors at um, MDC Strategy. So he was in a Discord just yesterday talking about XRP, which is why I asked him that. So what's it looking like now, Russ? Yeah, it said 49 cent. I'm, 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 I'm hoping that it falls to about 45. Okay. Man, last time I looked at XRP, that joint was at 8 cents. Yeah, I know. That's my saw. That's my saw. Was like, I think it was fifteen cents or something like that. Yeah. Okay. That, that, it started moving at thirty-one cent. Okay. So, bam, there we go. Right. And again, I'm not a fan of the protocol at all. Like, I I don't care for it. Man, yeah. it's, it's, it's money to be had. Go get mm -hmm. you some. I don't want nothing to do with it. Right. Yeah. Um. But I do understand that you know, our especially our DGen traders. We got a lot of DGen traders too. And, and I know y'all listening. And y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, I'm not going. I'm not going to say y'all names, but <laughs> y'all would trade anything, yo. But, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but with that being said, though, um, so what's your what's your outlook on Ethereum right now? Um, it's the, it's the same outlook I have on the rest of the markets. It's it's going to go down. Okay. You know. So all the hype about like you know um. 2.0 and all that like we're not going to get any pump from that i mean we did see a pump yeah when everything happened but i mean like right now you just look at that as being in a bear if people looked at it when people really started thinking about it it was like wait a minute it just turned into a shit coin 
Yeah, I saw a <laughs> lot of that. That's the thing. I saw a lot of that. Like, hold on. You just became more decent. You just became more centralized. Like, yeah. what are we doing here? Mm -hmm. um, it was interesting. I was looking at a uh, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, one of them today. They had put out like a, um, a thing on their IG. They showed this NFT that they paid like $138,000 for. Mm -hmm. And the joint was trading right now for 10 bucks. <laughs> Said, oh, no, no, God. no. I thought I thought it was eleven hundred bucks. No, I thought that he was, it. it's ten dollars. That joint was ten dollars. What is the post I saw said ten dollars? Ten dollars, bro. I, I seen a different post that said he bought it for X like so and so amount of Ethereum, and right now it's worth one E. Yo, I saw it on his page. Let me let me um let me go back and, and make sure. Either way, that's a he paid six hundred racks for that joint. Whether it's worth ten dollars or a thousand dollars, it's still yeah, either, not, either way. It's still that's a dirty, that's dirty. Yeah, either way. Um damn, that's crazy. Yeah, so you y'all gotta be careful out here in the NFT market, man. Like <laughs> yo, man, stop buying, buying JPEGs, man. What you what you say, Russ? You I couldn't hear you. I don't know if you muted or not. What you say? I think the it's buy is starting to decrease. He should have sold. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, again, nah, man. He 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 got enough money to hold because when we get on the next, when we get on the next cycle, we might be able to recoup more of it than even if he had sold. I don't know about that. It'd be some new JPEGs out by then. Yeah, All right. So, true. for the people listening, though, um, you know, we're just talking about markets right now. Please be careful in the NFT market because, like, that right now is insane. I just, I just like to peruse and see what's going on in terms of volumes and projects. <laughs> And it's it's bad business over there. So in terms of that market, are you messing with that market at all, Russ? No. All right. So we got you off that. So I, I thought about that when we talked on Ethereum, but until volume comes back into it, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. Gonna, I might check it volume, but mm -mm. it's a market. It's a market that that depends on volume, and when it ain't no volume in the market, it ain't no money to be made. Yep. All right. So we got we got your opinion on the stock market. Talked about forex. We got we got your opinion on shit coins with XRP. We got the NFT. Now, Bitcoin. What do you see? What do you see going on with Bitcoin right now, short term and then long term? Um, short term, it's just like everything else, man. I, I believe we have to have a great reset to build back better. <laughs> you know, build back better. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't even know what that means, but it just sounds provocative. No, nah, that's, that's his political slogan. Build back, but yeah, we got to build back better. Um, but when you say reset, though, what, what do you see as to being a reset? What's the number you're thinking of? Um, Bitcoin. I had 285 for Ethereum, so damn. Let's see here. From Yo. your mouth to Yo. God's ears, please. I'm in Ethereum shorts. I've been in these Ethereum 5X shorts since January, bro. When yeah. Bitcoin was when Russ's Bitcoin numbers are so insane. And by the way, I'm gonna repeat this again. This is not investment advice because Russ's numbers be wild. Now, the one the great thing about doing this podcast and having our brother on is everything is documented, right? Yeah. So we got Russ on. If you go back and check our podcast files, Russ was on when Bitcoin was probably like what 10, 15 grand. You know what I mean? So you know, we saw that ride all the way up. Mm -hmm. Um so you know, I mean, Russ is thought of, Russ is not shy about talking about where he sees markets going, which is why I'm going to have him on. Yeah, but some of this stuff you talking about tonight, yo, yo. You showed us a chart though that made me like that joint made me pause for a second. Like, damn, yo, some of these like, numbers he's talking about though. He said two eighty five for you. Well, he showed me a chart that said Ethereum's supposed to go to like eighty bucks. So he's being nice with that two eighty five number. Like he showed, he put matter of fact, he put that chart in our Discord. Yo, if you're right about that, all right. So now with Bitcoin, so you said Bitcoin is what? If Ethereum two eighty five. What's big? What do you see Bitcoin? We we got to go back to the monthly chart and see where it broke out at. <laughs> where it originally broke out. It broke out at like. Yeah, give me one second. Like, like ten, like. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, cool? It broke out. Well, it had multiple breakouts, but the first breakout we had for Bitcoin was at like nine thousand bucks, and then before that was like six thousand bucks. So if Bitcoin go back down to six thousand, I might sell a couple houses to grab some Bitcoin, bro. The thing is, though, I read an article today um, that was saying, um, and it was looking at the data on the chain. 
our whales are, are snatching it up. Anytime it goes below like 19.5, like it's just like anytime it goes below 19, 19.5, they're just grabbing and grabbing and grabbing. And when you look at the wilds of those grabbing it, this the whales. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the problem with that. They have to literally put it on the exchange for it to move up. Yeah. Yeah. So um that is be that'll be interesting to watch, man. All right, Russ, man. So we got your opinion on Bitcoin, Ethereum. Although you didn't give us a number on Bitcoin yet. What number are you saying? Let me give me one. Check this. It's yeah, so- yeah. Give, give me a number for that, though, man. Okay. And- it's out around 7,300. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> them breakouts came in, like, the $6,000, $7,000 range. That's what I'm saying. Like, And then it broke out again around 10000 to go to 18000 Then it came back down to 3000 oh, yes. Here's what I tell you, bro. If you write about your analysis, these will make some amazing clips. Because man. Uh, another thing I know is I'm, I'm gonna stack some bread. I'm gonna stack some uh, regular cash to take advantage of these dips. Mm-hmm. Um, because man, that's a huge dip. Yeah. Right now we're still floating between 19 and 20. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we're still right right now as we record this, we're floating between 19 and 20. You talk about 50 percent drop. 60 percent drop it's more than 50 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, 50 60 percent drop from here i think if if ever hit 285 man the feds would do an emergency rate cutting session <coughs> that would be interesting all right I, man, would, so- I, I would enjoy that too because as soon as i see that i'm turning everything to calls <laughs> everything gotta go all of all of, i gotta buy everything right there at that moment so, look, i'm gonna tell you like this as soon as the bulls stop doing the, the price increases i'm gonna start buying like i'm right now i'm not even buying anything because he's not done putting those price increases in into the game into the like until he does stop putting those prices increases into the game i'm i'm short in the market listen I, unemployment numbers were up you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah like we just like people think we in the middle of it we haven't begun to in my opinion <laughs> in my Humblest the pain. We have not begun to see the actual pain. Food prices is already crazy. Gas prices is already crazy. But if you, it's about to get. I think it's about to get dark, dark. Like, and also, like you know, elections coming too. So it's gonna be real interesting, man. It's gonna be real. And also, think about all the things that are, that are still have to play out, right? Well, the student loan thing has to play out, where all the people that have been, you know, um, froze. That that's gonna eventually, at some point. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to like cut that back on, right? And when they cut that back on, that's I don't know what that looks point. like. You know what I'm saying? That's another pain point. That's what I'm saying. All, all, of, all of these pain points, like ah, man, it's it's interesting times that we're living in the things yeah. that we're gonna see, though. Yeah, the, yeah, the inflation and reduction act was nothing but an infrastructure bill. And yeah, that's all yeah. it was. It's it's an infrastructure bill to build uh energy, it was an energy mm-hmm. infrastructure bill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's basically all it was, man. Listen, all right. So we we gonna um you know believe it or point we we got your we got your intake on uh all the various markets, man. We definitely like to have you on there once in a while to talk about these markets, man. But Russ, I know that um you and Zuck got beef right now. But if the folks want to like check in with you, you on IG? Yeah, yeah, I'm on. What's your IG page? Um, you you'll find me, Russell Hughes. Just look up Russell Hughes. Just look up Russell Hughes on IG, and you'll find him. As a matter of fact. I'll put his IG link in the bio if y'all want to um hit him up and ask him about these 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 wild <laughs> predictions, man. My man said a seventy five Vix call, yo, <laughs> yo, Russ, <laughs> yo, Russ, you know about you, Russ basically said you're the Walking Dead is about to happen, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm one of so, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that would be so chaotic. So what you're telling me is I need to go in and grab some bonds, not the bonds, but Grab some calls in the bonds market. Yeah. Grab yeah. some grab some calls in the bonds market. Bet on the dollar going up. Yeah. Because that's 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 all of this all of those things is correlated. So I can I can just just go shopping. And those 75 VIX calls for next year is nuts, bro. Yo, that, that, is that's that's out of everything you said, you said two 228 Ethereum. You said um Bitcoin almost at seven. But everything you said, the one thing that's wildest to me might be the I don't know if it's the 210 uh 210 spy or the 75 VIX, which are the probably you know kind of the same, but still like that's Damn, wild. Bro. 
yeah. Anyway, man, to our, to our audience out there, man, I want you to hit up Russ on IG, man, and give him your thoughts on some of these wild predictions. But you hear his predictions, and this is a brother that, you know, we, we see how he works. He makes money in the markets every day. This is what he does for a living. And, you know, he studies. He studies, he studies, he studies. So if nothing else, you know that um, we got some, <laughs> got some pain coming in these markets. <laughs> but remember, you know, it's an opportunity. All that presents is an opportunity. Make money on the way down, but also accumulate great assets. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, this is why I'm a huge fan of dollar cost averaging because it's a, someone who dollar cost averages. I don't care. All I know is when things go down, as long as I have the stream of income coming in, I'm going to grab more. With that being said, though, hit up Russ, man. Let us know what you think about those predictions. Leave us some comments and let us know uh, right in the YouTube comments if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching this on Facebook because we do um, put our videos on YouTube and Facebook and the audio podcast can be found anywhere podcasts are found. Uh, make sure you like, you know, Rate us on Apple Podcasts. Give us five stars and whatnot. You know what I mean? Hit us up on social media. All of our social media contact will be within the description. And check out mdcstrategy.com, right? That's our private membership group if you're interested. If not, that's cool, too. But that's kind of where we hang out, talk markets, do live trading. Corey is in there, like, doing live trading, uh, crypto trading in the evening. We got Forex. We got precious metals. We got real estate. We got the uh, whole kit and caboodle. With that being said... Everybody watching and everybody who supports what we got on, we appreciate you. We love you. We'll have another episode next week. So, you know, please stay in tune. Follow By The Hood on everything and make sure you follow our brother, Russ. Russ, man, appreciate you, bro, for this coming through and talking markets with us, man. Well, I appreciate you for having me, as, as always. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as we always say out there, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much you keep. Game elevates, and we'll see you guys in our next episode. Peace. Peace.